I've been really impressed with the attitude of the boys. Um, we've worked a hell of a lot on our fitness, which you always do in pre-season, but also improving some skills that we probably lacked last year. So um, having a lot of the senior players away has may meant that the younger players have had a lot of attention from the coaching staff. So I think it's, it's working out pretty well this year. We've had a lot of focus on our red ball cricket, although still keeping a, a definitely an eye on the fact that we play JLT Cup first, um, white ball cricket, so pre-seasons, a lot of it's been about great defence and bowling in good areas and, and being able to bat for a long period of time. All the guys that are away are playing first class cricket and playing in some strong competition, so we don't need, apart from their fitness, we don't need to worry about how they're going as far as their preparation. They'll come back, probably haven't played too much cricket, but they should be ready to, to slide into our team and play really good for us. So. Um, a couple of guys are now off to Australia A competitions and stuff, so we've now got three weeks of after this week off um, of practice matches here on number two, so the players will have plenty of opportunities to shine and show us what they've got. Yeah, the trial games are a key, um, and we're still just building. The bowlers are still probably three quarters and just building up to top pace and, and getting everything right by the time we go away. Um, the other thing we've got to look forward to is some practice matches in Perth. We're going a week early before the comp starts, so that'll be against WA and uh, and I think a second 11 WA. So and one of those is a day night game on the Wacker, which will be awesome for our prep. J JLT is exciting for me. It, it's our first chance to, to win some games, put ourselves up against some opposition that probably got the better of us at occasions last year. But yeah, we've got another another opportunity to win that comp, which you know we need to start proving that we can win games. He smashes that, that's a huge six. Yeah, look, we've been in two finals in three years and, and probably the other one was a, a, a big opportunity missed as well. So we need to get over the line. I think we've got the team, there's no doubt on paper. I would say with the Australian player, the test players away, we're, we're a very strong team, if not the strongest team on paper. So, you know, it takes a little bit of luck and some, you know, some good form during the five or six games that we'll have to play, but uh, we're a chance. Yeah, just sticking to our game plans and the fact that uh, our batting philosophy is important to us, that we, we keep trying to put a score on the board, not trying to save a game or to just survive. We always want to have intent and intensity in our batting. So we're an aggressive team, but we need to be smart around that, and make sure we've got wickets in, in the end, because I think we've got a, a pretty good team that can probably score pretty heavily at the back end of a game. Some of the things we need to improve in our four-day cricket, hopefully they'll see that, the fact that we lost wickets in clusters, um, as in three or four in a row, have bad hours of cricket. We're trying to um, work on that our mental side of the game to stop that happening, make sure we're up and ready for any situation and, and win those big moments. Obviously we want to win some cups and some silverware, but everything has to go right.